In this video, we're going to demonstrate the use of SnapMaker Original Laser Function by engraving a grayscale image. It will cover the whole process of laser engraver usage, including generate G-code, fix material, determine engraving area, transfer G-code to machine, and start engraving. First, you need to download the software from our website and install it. Then, make sure both the laser module and the engraving platform are properly assembled and all the cables are correctly connected. Please prepare the items and tools as illustrated. Every time before you turn on the laser, make sure you and any viewers have put on your laser safety goggles. Open the software and you need to select your machine model first. Next, enter Laser G-Code Generator. You can upload multiple files from different modes and engrave them in just one G-code. In this case, we select grayscale mode to upload a grayscale image as an example. Left-click to select an image. Right-click to see the operation menu. You can configure the settings for the image as needed. Auto preview is enabled by default. The software will automatically generate the image preview based on the current parameters. If Auto Preview is disabled, you need to manually click Preview. After you have set the laser power and finished configuring the other parameters as needed, click Generate G-Code. You can use a pencil to mark the midpoint of the material, which is applicable to setting work origin later. Place the material, then fix the material to the engraving platform. Make sure the clips will not collide with any parts of the machine. Turn on the machine. Connect your computer to the machine using the provided USB cable. Then enter workspace. Refresh the serial port list in the connection section. Click the drop-down button and select the serial port of the machine. Then click open. Enter laser G-code generator. Then click load G-code to workspace. Before you turn on the laser, make sure you and any viewers have put on your laser safety goggles. Now set a small value, such as 5%, for laser power. Then turn on the laser. Find out where the engraving will be by setting the work origin. The work origin corresponds to the 00 coordinate origin in the software. In this case, the center of the grayscale image corresponds to the coordinate origin in the software. So, we move the laser spot over the center of the material. Place the calibration card under the laser spot. Keep adjusting the height of the laser module until the laser spot is smaller than the black dot on the calibration card. Click Set Work Origin. Click Run Boundary to check if the work origin is proper. If not, reset the work origin and run boundary again. Now, you can use the USB cable or the USB flash drive to transfer the G-code to machine and start engraving. If you prefer online engraving, you just need to click the Run button in the software. In this way, the computer must be connected to the machine throughout the process. You can adjust work speed and laser power during the engraving process. If you prefer offline engraving, please disconnect the serial port and unplug the USB cable. Enter Laser G-Code Generator, then click Export G-Code to File. The extension of the exported G-Code file is .nc by default. Save it to the USB flash drive. Insert the USB flash drive into the controller of the machine. Tap Files on the touchscreen. Select the G-Code file and tap Start to start engraving. When you're done, tap Controls, Jog Mode on the touchscreen. Move the laser module and the engraving platform to a proper position. Then remove the clips and the finished work. Thank you for watching.